Hey everyone, this is Ian back with another head and neck anatomy video. In this video, we will be going over the muscles of the soft palate. These muscles play an important role in swallowing and breathing. The five muscles we will be discussing today are the levator velae palatini, the tensor velae palatini, the palatoglossus, the palatopharyngeus, and the musculus uvulae. All of these muscles are innervated by cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve, except for the tensor velae palatini, which is innervated by cranial nerve V3, the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. With all that said, let's get into it. So of course, before we start, we have to take a normal person and slice the side of their face off, just so we can see what we're looking at. And the first muscle we're gonna look at is the levator velae palatini. The word levator means to lift, and the word palatini means palate, which means that the levator velae palatini elevates the soft palate during swallowing. This is to prevent food from entering the nasopharynx. And the next muscle, which shares a similar name to the last muscle, is the tensor velae palatini. Given its name, the tensor velae palatini tenses the soft palate during swallowing. This is also to prevent food from entering the nasopharynx. And the next we have the palatoglossus. And given the location of the palatoglossus relative to the tongue, it makes sense that when this muscle contracts, it depresses the soft palate and elevates the tongue to facilitate swallowing. Next, we have the palatopharyngeus. And given its name, the palatopharyngeus is part of the soft palate and the pharynx. This muscle tenses the soft palate and pulls the pharynx supero-anteriorly to prevent food from entering the nasopharynx. And the last muscle we'll talk about is the musculus uvulae. The word uvulae refers to uvula, so it makes sense that the musculus uvulae shortens the uvula to facilitate normal speech. Now I thought I'd treat you guys with a short one today because we are moving right into example question one. Which muscle is involved in the elevation of the soft palate? Is it the palatoglossus, the levator velae palatini, the tensor velae palatini, or the palatopharyngeus? And the correct answer is B, the levator velae palatini. Remember the word levator means to lift and the word palatini means palate, which means that the levator velae palatini elevates the soft palate. The palatoglossus contributes to part of the soft palate and pharynx, and it depresses the soft palate and elevates the tongue. Given its name, the tensor velae palatini tenses the soft palate. And similarly, the palatopharyngeus also tenses the soft palate, as well it closes the nasal pharynx during swallowing. And now we're moving on to example question two. Which muscle is involved in the depression of the soft palate during the gag reflex? So there's the levator velae palatini, the genioglossus, the styloglossus, and the palatoglossus. And the correct answer is D, the palatoglossus. So the palatoglossus is involved with the depression of the soft palate. Also, the palatopharyngeus is involved with the depression of the soft palate. However, that is not one of the answer choices. So the levator velae palatini elevates the soft palate, the genioglossus protrudes the tongue, and the styloglossus retrudes the tongue. Now let's move on to a summary of everything that we talked about today. Okay, so the first thing that we talked about is what elevates the soft palate, the levator velae palatini. And what depresses the soft palate? The palatoglossus. And what tenses the soft palate? Well, the tensor velae palatini and the palatopharyngeus. Thank you so much. 